What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Real NFL fans stand up, and you're now tuned into the Cowboys fans only channel. So if you are new, do us a huge favor, comment, like, subscribe, somewhere down there, and be sure to turn on notification bell to stay updated with all Dallas Cowboys and NFL draft content. So this prospect today, I wanna to talk about Jalen Tolbert. He was one of my favorites out of the University of South Alabama, out of the Sun Belt Conference, and he will be playing in the Singer Bowl. So this Saturday, do not forget, we will be streaming live the Singer Bowl and taking a deep dive into a lot of these prospects. But he's one of my favorites. And, you know, as a Cowboys fan, we have some interesting conversations that needs to be had uh, when it comes to the wide receiver position. It sounds like Amari Cooper will remain in house. Uh, we're going to have CeeDee Lamb, of course. Will we re-sign Michael Gallup coming off the ACL? We do not know. We do have Malik Turner. What will we do with Cedric Wilson? But we also have Simi Fioko and some of those undrafted guys that we spoke about so frequently on this channel. But I feel like you could never have enough weapons in-house, even though Kellen Moore ain't going to use them. You know, you always need offensive weapons. And Jalen Tolbert definitely fits that bill. 6'3", 190 pounds. He is a big play threat. And salute to my guy, Big Game James. He's out there in Mobile, Alabama, covering the Senior Bowl as well. And he already tweeted, man. He says, this kid is pure separation. And that was the first thing when I watched Jalen Tolbert was the separation that he's able to get. And we're going to take a look at the film, of course. But separation, he's able to make big plays. He finished the 2021 season with about 1,400 yards, eight touchdowns, average 18 yards a catch. Uh, over 3,000 yards in his career. So he can definitely make things happen down the field. And if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan like myself, we know that is something that's been missing from our offense for quite some time. And so I feel like Jalen Tolbert, if we were to move on from Michael Gallup, which I think we will, he would be one of those guys that we can get it on day two that can really step in. He's tough. He can play outside. He can also play the slot as well has great change of speed. I like what I see from Jalen Tolbert out of South Alabama. So let's go ahead and get into the film. So the very first play that we're gonna take a look at here, he's lined up outside and he's just gonna run a quick comeback route. And what I wanna focus on is his hip movement. I like his hips. Now, is he the best route runner? Absolutely not. He's not Amari Cooper-ish, right? But with his size, his physicality, his hands, he's able to do a lot. I feel like if he's going to need to clean up on something, it will be the route running. But if you get him in-house with Amari Cooper, it'll tend to have a teacher in-house, Mr. Miyagi, that can definitely help Jalen Tolbert when it comes to his route running. So we're going to get into the play here. Like I said, simple comeback route. Sticks his foot in the dirt. Bam. Makes the catch. And again, like I said, not the cleanest, not the cleanest, right? But he's effective because you have to respect the deep, the deep ball threat when it comes to guarding Jalen Tolbert. Um, so this play here, he is lined up in the slot. He's just going to run a simple out route. Now, I will say this: when you watch the film on him, he does have some drops. He does have some moments where. You know, you're going to see right here because that's what we do on this channel. We're not going to show all the highlights, right? There are some negatives. And on this play, it's going to be a fumble, but I'm not too concerned. Um, it's not something you see frequently. It's just those lapses, which all wide receivers have those lapses. But right there, you see he gave up the lunch money, man. They took your lunch money, bro. Money on the flow. Money on the flow. He coughed it up, right? But like I said, I am not too concerned. Like I said, he does have some drops. He does have some drops, but I don't think it's due to his ability. I just think it's just lapses throughout the game. Um, on this one, he's lined up outside as well. And you're going to see this frequently. And as I mentioned, change of speed. So he's going to get on the outside, going to do a little hezzy stutter step and make the play. So he's able to shift gears, which I definitely like when I'm breaking down the film on Jalen Tolbert. Let's see here. Let's get it. Boom. Hit him with the hezzy right there. See. 
hit him with the hezzy. He turns up. Now he doesn't make the catch because his quarterback is pure trash, but since it's <laughs> since it wasn't a dot, you know what I'm saying, at the NFL level type throw, he was able to come back for the catch, which you know they like to call pass interferences on that a lot because the, the corner wasn't able to get his head around. But I feel like at the NFL level, you give Dak Prescott this, you give Pat Mahomes this, you give Josh Allen this, you give Kyler Murray this, Herbert this, the list go on and on and on. That's a touchdown. So I like what I see in that separation once again. And he likes that little hesitation right move right there. He, he's going to run a lot. We'll see it again here soon. All right. So this play here, he's lined up tight. And then what you're going to have, you're going to have this tight end block here. And he's going to do this corner route out here for the touchdown. Good track in the ball. I read up on him, looks like he was a baseball player, so that's probably why he's able to track the ball fairly well and do what he does in space. And so I like his ball location. I said, good prospect. Like I said, if you're able to get this guy on day two or even day three, I don't think he's going to be there day three. I think after the senior bowl, I think he's going to jump a little bit, but I think he's going to be a day two prospect, maybe third round-ish. So if we have the ability to get a player like that and – Cowboys fam, y'all know me, right? I've been wanting a punt returner so we can get CeeDee Lamb off of punt returns for the longest. So if he's able to take that responsibility from CD, I am all for it. This play here, he's lined up out wide down here. And once again, you're going to see that hesitation move that he just did before. And he's going to turn on those burners and get ghost on that boy. Got him, little dip, little dip right there. And then we're gone. We're off to the races. And this one, he makes the play. So solid play from Jalen Tolbert right there. Dips his hips. Turns on the speed right there. Locates the ball. Fight with his hands. Making things happen. That's money. That's where you earn that NFL check at. Right there. Right there. Deep ball threat. Like I said, he averaged over 18 yards per catch. And then this next play... He's lined up right here. He's going to come off like as a drag wrap. He's going to read the coverage in the zone. And he's going to take it up to the next level and go wide open. So he has a high IQ too as well. I like the way he has a feel for the field, the defenses. I just like what I see from this prospect, y'all. Get up field. Make the catch. Move the chains, move the chains. Then his last play here, he's going to get between the safety and this corner here. And he's just going to go up and be a football player and make the play. I just like that. Like I said, locating the ball, making things happen. And, you know, it's that it's that big catch. He has a huge catch radius. I think his wingspan is like 6'1 or 6'2. Uh, I didn't get the official numbers from the senior bowl today, but good wingspan, good hands, locate the ball. So I feel like if he has a good combine, he's going to slap the board a little bit. But like I said, I have him currently as a day two prospect, maybe second round, maybe third round, definitely not fourth round. But we definitely need to keep an eye on Saturday on Jalen Tober. Because like I said, with possibly losing Cedric Wilson, not knowing what's going to happen with Michael Gallup, I would like to get another guy that can come in and fill the void. And I feel like Jalen Tober is that guy. Um, it's your boy Jay Tuck. Comment, like, subscribe. We're going to continue to drop content after content with this draft. Also, Dallas Cowboys football as well. So you got to turn on that notification bell so you do not miss out. Like I said, Saturday, we will be live streaming the Singer Bowl. So definitely tune in for that. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, JTuck151. And of course, CowboysFansOnly.com. It's your boy Jay Tuck. I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged. Go Cowboys. Peace.